Do you know who I am? Of course you do. What is up people, Dobbs Wills is right here and welcome to a special video here. A while back I put up a poll and you, this did not win, just to let you guys know, but it was very very close to winning. Um, pretty much it is, why did I make YouTube videos? What's the main reason? What was your reason why did you make Dobbsy Rules? And there is a main reason, there's a couple of reasons though. So I'm going to go rewind the t clock way back to high school. High school and primary school, pretty much. Young days, young Dobbsy. What does he want to be when he wants to grow up? Does he want to be a police officer? Does he want to be a fireman? Does he want to be a lawyer? Does he want to be a doctor? I don't want to be any of them. I want to be a performer. I want to be on TV. Well, a lot of kids want to be on TV. Just have a bit of the stage light shining in front of your eyes. I've always wanted to do that, since I was a little kid. So, a part of me thought to myself, you know what? I'll go do some dancing. Probably do a drama school or something. So I did. I joined a dancing school slash drama club. And I did a few shows. Got one on DVD, which was called The World in Motion. Doing the dances from around the world. I did Jamaica and I did the, the Wild Wild West. And besides that though, after that, I was getting... I was starting to drift a little bit. Because, number one, the, the school was getting expensive and I couldn't afford the stuff, so I had to pack it in. Did not Something I did regret, I do regret to this very day, I should have kept on going with it, and plus, it probably made me lose a lot more, a lot more weight, to be honest. But after that, going through high school and everything, after I stopped doing dancing and everything, and the acting, I still wanted to be on TV, so I had to think of another way. So I went to carry on and do drama and performing arts. Enjoyed it. I passed it with flying colours, with flying colours. But still, there was a setback for me, and that was my English. I was extremely terrible at it because you guys know I'm dyslexic. Couldn't probably read. Couldn't probably spell. Couldn't probably write. So I had to learn a lot more harder than any other student which made it extremely difficult for me because I kept on getting frustrated because I couldn't do it. So I had to thought, think to myself, how on earth can I get into act to get onto TV if I can't do acting or do any performing arts because I can't read a script. So I had to go ahead and think about media, doing camera work and everything, learn to edit, learn it very quickly, learn so much about it. And then, once again, when I was trying to find a job after high school, I needed English again. So, once again, kept doing English, failed it, kept doing English, failed, failed. I failed at least seven times doing English, all my GCSEs. So, I thought to myself, that this is it, it's, it this is over now, I, I'm, I pretty much failed it. I'm not going to be on the TV, I'm not going to be, on a, I'm not gonna be a, on a big shot show or anything like that, my dream shattered. But I knew that my parents, my mum, my dad, knew that I wanted to do something like that, but another part of me still had something stuck behind in the back of my head. My grandparents, their mums and dads, I knew that their history was something hidden away. They became chefs and waitresses and, wait and waiters. So, like you guys know, I became a professional chef now. I went to college and did prof professional catering. But also, once again, looking for, once again, trying to learn to read still, because of the dyslexia and everything, trying to read a freaking recipe was still difficult. So, once again, I had to go back and do English again, in college. So, out of another three years, that's nine times doing English. On the final year of college, I finally did it. I finally got my English. I finally passed. But besides that though, how on earth did I get from English to get in the past and in between there? Because I did my YouTube channel as I was in college. So why did I? Because still, my calling card was always wanting to be in front of a camera, on TV, entertaining people, making people laugh, cry, concern, shocked, anything that I can pick of, I wanted to do it. So I thought, Fuck it, YouTube's quite a big thing. I was watching a YouTuber called Psychedelic Snake, PewDiePie, the start of Markiplier, the start of Reckless Eating and all these lot. And I was thinking, oh my God, these guys are amazing. I want to be like them. So 
I picked up my 3DS. Yeah, a Nintendo 3DS that had a camera. I got my brother's old laptop before he went to the army. And I made my own YouTube channel. And I still remember that name when somebody said to me, when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for the very first time, and I was thrashing everybody in high school, uh, somebody shouted out, freaking Dobsy Rules on Yu-Gi-Oh! So that name stuck with me. So I named my channel Dobsy Rules. It wasn't really going to be anything special. Maybe me opening up some packs, do a bit of music. Music wasn't good because the camera work was super shocking. But pack openings did do go well for myself. Not a lot of people watched, of course, but... My confidence started building up, building up dramatically, very much so. Hitting 10 subscribers, did a special video called Gandam Style, that's when it became extremely popular. Then a few months then, finally hit 100 subscribers. I did a Carmel dancing with some of my fans who sent me their video clips, which was awesome. Then fast forward a few years after that, it started going extremely slow, so I thought to myself, you know what? Time to upgrade it now. Forget about the 3DS, forget about that laptop, upgrade it to a bigger computer, get a proper camera. Now I've got, got myself a workplace, I'm now working. So pretty much I got work on one side and making videos on the other. But that's the thing though. There's still, you have still, people saying, Dobsy, but still, why did you want to make videos? I've given you the answer. I wanted to be an entertainer for life. And plus, another reason too, it was to stop me from being in trouble. It really has been. Because my life was was in a scale with two different type of groups. I had my friends who were in school, who always were trustworthy. Then you had the troublemakers. I was balancing with both of them, thinking, oh, who should I belong with? I was in school with them a lot. I was with them in the night time. And them ones had to be disappeared and thrown away so luckily I did that I moved on got my confidence even further and then there was the one thing I remember because oh this is planning like, this is around about the time I hit 500 subscribers and I still remember one of my family relatives saying to my mother do you think Wes needs to make YouTube videos. Right? Does he enjoy it and everything? And it's like, do you enjoy it? She even asked my mother, do you enjoy him making videos? Making him look like a clown. Like an entertainer, a, com a comedian. And my mum said these words, and I still remember to this day because it stuck to my head. I'd rather see him doing that than doing drugs. Could that have happened to me if I didn't make any YouTube videos? Could have been a blooming drunk, a druggy junkie. Could have been a person that was popping pills or doing some sniffing or injecting stuff. You'll never know. It could have happened, it could have not. I could have been lying down in a ditch somewhere. But besides that though, all I really wanted to do is the main thing I love to do. And that's to entertain you guys. So, years passed on, got more confident. Got myself my own job. Went to Japan for the very first time with a friend, Joe. Came back, saved up again, went to Japan for the second time. Went on my own, made a video. You guys know the rest of it. You guys made a meme. You made me successful. And I love you guys for it. So pretty much that's the main reason why I make YouTube videos. Because number one, I love to be entertaining. I love to entertain people beyond the camera, beyond the lens, beyond the computer, behind them monitors. Number two, it kept me out of trouble. Number three, I'll be nothing without this now. I'll be just a normal person with a deadbeat job, thinking about the life, thinking, what if? What if I did make YouTube videos? What if I did go to do theatre? What if? I became a cameraman in a massive blockbuster film. What if? And the last thing to say is because I love this. I love YouTube, hands down. I love the company. I love you lot to support me. 
and I love my life. That is why I make YouTube videos, because I love it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell icon to get yourself notified when we're uploading and live streaming. With that being said, the people I'm going to salute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!